I let's do it. How is the art of circling <laughs> practitioner training making a difference in your life? Probably one of the most undertaught areas of existence is emotional intelligence. And the fact that there's a group of people that are now becoming worldwide that get together to practice skills of authenticity, transformation, active listening, paraphrasing, actually showing each other deep empathy and compassion and just being with those feelings and not trying to fix people or patch people up, kind of like what coaching does, that is so fascinating and that is such an important skill set to both develop as somebody that is aiming to work directly with someone as well as be the receiver of that set of, of emotions. So that's probably the most important thing that I'm learning right now at Art of Circling teacher training and that's why it's so important to me is developing out the skill sets of emotional intelligence and then sharing that with children in the future and getting them to care about what emotional intelligence will do for their interpersonal ability as well as their sociability as well as their rapport building and how that affects your family, your relationships, your business, all these different aspects of life. How is, um, how is circling affecting your relationships, your work, and your happiness? Relationships, work, and happiness. How does circling affect those things? All right. So the, <clears throat> probably the first thing that comes to mind is that the, the ability to really quickly talk to somebody and get on their same vibe and get in a get into their world and whether that be in business in a family member or in a relationship that the idea that you know how to ask a really good question and then to just be an active listener and paraphrase to make it very evident that you're listening to them and that you're caring for what they're saying that <clears throat> That is directly applicable in every single facet of life. It makes you happier, makes your family members happier, your relationships happier, and it also will build a better world if we know how to talk to each other with, uh, with our two ears and one mouth. Would you take back the growth to have the tuition in your pocket and why? Every single penny that you invest into your education, especially when it's off path education. So we're not talking about a collegiate system. We're talking about off path education, these paths that are not walked down by most people. The more eccentric and unusual the path is, the more you should walk down it because it's usually has these beautiful golden nuggets of wisdom that are very untapped into that you can learn a lot from. So every single penny that you invest into a program like this or a program that teaches you about mindfulness or emotional intelligence or how to relate with people is worth it because also so think about the compounding effect it has. If you don't go out the door today and go and start practicing these skills, imagine if you waited a year to go out and practice these skills. Think about what you would have lost in this last year by not investing in yourself as soon as possible. Why are you supporting this work? Why are you supporting circling? So one of the most important things that's been tried to communicate for the last especially hundred years by people that have unfortunately been either assassinated or killed is world peace and the fact that we still have this as a question in society means we're very very unaware we're very disconnected the fact that world peace is just still a eh that doesn't really matter there's no way that'll happen we will always fight for war always fight for land always religion always money there'll always be something to fight about once we get world peace there will be war because there has to be something like that no 
No. It's time to envision a world where nobody is suffering for clean water, clean food, shelter, education, or healthcare. It's time to envision that world where you get electricity and computers and smartphones and internet. And it's ubiquitous for you to be able to build the future with all these different tools and to have all these things at your fingertips. Circling helps us get closer to that goal of world peace. We figure out how to get into other people's shoes, how to relate with people that we normally don't even know them that well. And all of a sudden we're relating with them on really deep vibes. And this happens across the planet with different people that speak different languages, with different backgrounds, different demographics, different ages. You can be circling someone that's 60 when you're 20. They can be from a different part of the world than you. But all of a sudden, you realize you're both human. You both have emotions. You both have these feelings that come up from your heart, from your past and your family, from what your ambitions are, who your lover is, all these different things that are just so interestingly similar. So damn it, let's figure out how to work together and circling sure does help us do that. Quiet on set, rolling camera. All right, Alan, what made this event great? When a mind becomes expanded to new dimensions of thought. It is known to be as one of the most profound experiences of someone's life. And to be around a group of people that are showing you these beautiful examples and they're going through these feelings of of mind expansion and heart expansion and they're just growing so much and they're vocalizing this they're teaching everyone in the group this and it's not just one person having it it's it's a dozen people that are having it and it's just some of the most profound breakthroughs that that i've ever seen and felt and been around and so that is the greatest coolest aspect of being a part of this event today and that's what really keeps my mouth watering for more and bringing this to more people around the world imagine if before the united nations sat down that they all went and got into a circle and that they all went and bonded with each other about their feelings and their oneness and imagine how different the world would be if we weren't going so crazy over power and uh, and money and greed, but we were a little bit more uh, w willing to look at each other in the eyes and say that, hey, you're human. You also have a very funny situation with your family. And in many ways, it's fucked up. And so what better way to talk about that than by showing each other love, care, respect, and actually breaking into breaking these these barriers that we put up and saying that if you look at Earth from the moon, there's no borders, so let's figure out how to work together.